my name is Jenny Holroyd and now I'm going to show you how to do a quantitative fit test using um, an OHD QuantiFit machine. So the machine um, for ours looks like this. There is a newer model out that looks a little bit different, um, but this is the one we have. There are two main ways that you can do quantitative fit testing. You can do quantitative fit testing either by using the port account or the OHD QuantiFit. There are some other methods of doing quality, quantitative fit testing, but those are the two main ones that you may have heard of. Why would you wanna use quantitative fit testing instead of qualitative fit testing? There are a couple of reasons. So the qualitative fit testing is great because you can do it in pretty much any location. The fit testing kits are relatively low cost. However, if you want to have an employee to wear a full face tight fitting respirator and you want them to have an assigned protection factor of up to 50, um, or you want to have a digital record of the fit testing that was conducted, um, there's a variety of different reasons why you might want to invest in a quantitative fit testing machine or to rent one to do the fit testing. So while these machines are much more expensive comparatively to the qualitative fit testing kits, they do offer the advantage of creating digital records of the fit testing. The fit test itself is a much faster process. And the other thing that I really like um, is that during the fit testing process, the employee can actually see whether or not there's leakage of the respirator, which kind of gives them an understanding of whether the respirator fits or it doesn't fit. So I have already turned this machine on and did the calibration check for it today. And now I'm gonna get ready to do a test and I'm gonna fit test myself. So what I am going to do is I am going to select test and the protocol for the OHD QuantiFit is called the Redon method. And it's called the Redon method because you literally take off and redon your respirator multiple times throughout the test. So I am going to hit clear and clear all the subject data and then I am going to enter in the subject information. So I'm gonna put in Jenny. I am going to put my first and middle name and last name. I am going to take a look at the mask manufacturer. So I am going to be wearing, and I have selected the respirator that fits me properly, is the 3M6503QL. So I am going to enter that information in 6503QL. And then I'm gonna put in the size of the respirator, which is S, a small, and it is a half mask respirator. And then we put in all the information. So a couple of things about doing quantitative fit testing with an OHD. First off, you need special adapters for each of the different types of respirators, brands of respirators you have. There's also something else important. You have to put these little valve clips to open up the valves of the respirator so that the valves of the respirator do not interfere with the fit test. So I have made sure that the in inhalation valves are propped open. They can either be propped open with the clips or they can be completely removed. And then I am going to be able to perform the fit test. And the screen of this machine is walking me through all the different steps. So now we are ready to go. So in the read on protocol, it says Dawn mass, face forward, and then hold the breath completely and still during the test. So I'm gonna take my respirator I'm gonna don the respirator. Okay, now that I have donned my respirator, I have to do the next important part, which is putting the tubes and connecting the tubes to the mask.
All right, now I am ready to go. So it tells me to throw on my mask, put my face forward, take a deep breath, and then hold it. So I passed the first test. Now I have to bend at the waist and face the floor, hold my breath, and then remain completely still. All right, I passed. Now I'm gonna shake my head. Stop. So I passed that one as well. So the next part is the read on part of the test. This is where you have to unbuckle all the straps and be able to show that you can effectively put the respirator back on and have a good seal. This is my favorite part of the test, primarily because this is my opportunity to make sure that the employees who are wearing a respirator are wearing it properly and know how to put it on properly at any point in time. Now that I have my respirator back on, I am going to take a deep breath and hold the button. All right, I passed. Now I'm going to redon the mask again. So each time I'm doing this, the point of the redon method is for me to be able to show that I can effectively take the mask off and then when I put it back on, I'll get a good seal again. Each time I put the mask on, in case you couldn't hear me, I'm having to have it seated, I take a deep breath in and then I hold my breath while I hold the button down. So I'm gonna do that and this is the last test. There we go. And so I was able to get a successful fit on the mask. It's confirming the mask setup and then it will allow me to be able to print out the results of my fit test. So just a couple things to be aware of when doing a Quanta fit is not everybody can get a successful fit with a, one of the Quanta quantitative fit testing. With the QuantaFit, some people struggle if they have a perforated eardrum or have serious nasal issues or have trouble holding their breath for an extended period of time. In that case, you may want to opt either for them to wear earplugs during the, ear, during the test or to try one of the qualitative methods. Um, the port account method has some similar ups and downs where you can walk through and hopefully you can get a video of how that is done, so thank you.